want to take a little time to give you an overview of the titration of vinegar with sodium hydroxide. Vinegar is also known as acetic acid. That's CH3CH2COOH. And it's that H at the end that can come off, react with the OH to make water. And that's why there's a neutralization here. When you start with vinegar in your solution, I'm going to call it HAC for acetic acid, just so that you can keep track of where the H is. And you slowly add NaOH to the solution. All of a sudden, what, you're, what you end up doing is converting some of that HAC into just AC minus. See how the OH would react with the H and leave an AC minus behind? This is actually the conjugate base of the acid. And don't fear, you still have some acid left in your solution. Now, eventually, you're going to add just as much NaOH as you had of vinegar in the first place. And you'll know that because there won't be any acid left. All of it will be converted to AC minus. Notice, once we have AC minus only, there's no H's that will make the solution acidic, and there's no leftover OH's which will make the solution basic, as long as you didn't add too much NaOH. The point at which you have no H plus and no OH is called the equivalence point. And I want to reword that. It's not that there's no H plus and no OH, but the concentrations of both are the same, so it appears as though it's neutral. Then you add more NaOH, but there's nothing else to titrate away. And so you end up with these AC minuses in your solution, but you're also just adding raw OH, which is definitely gonna make your solution basic. The reason I did that little thing for you is because I wanna show you how the titration curve appears. On your bottom X axis, we have the base added, probably in milliliters, and we have the pH. At the beginning of the titration, we start with an acidic pH. We're probably going to start right about here. Once we have a balance of acid and its own conjugate base in solution, this is actually called a buffer. Now this doesn't occur if it was strong base, strong acid. It only occurs when one of them is weak. And so what ends up happening is you get a solution that even though you're adding more base, the pH is resisting change. That is, after all, what buffers are for. In this region, where it's perfectly flat, or almost perfectly flat, flattest, I guess I should say, the amount of AC minus and HAC in your solution is ex uh, exactly the same. You've added exactly half as much NaOH as you started out with vinegar. This is your half titration point, and it's the point at which you have the most excellent buffer. But then, as you add more base, the buffer capacity starts to be worn away. And so adding NaOH, there's not that much acid to titrate away. You end up increasing the concentration of OH that's there. You're converting more and more and more of them into the acetate anion, and until eventually you get to the equivalence point. Remember, the equivalence point of a titration is where the rise is steepest. And that's because at this point, you're getting rid of H plus <coughs> on a percentage basis way higher than you were back here. Consider this. How much NaOH would it require to get rid of 90% of the HAC that was here? Quite a bit, actually. How much would it require once you have almost no HAC left? Well, to get rid of 90% of that, it's going to take like maybe one drop of the NaOH because there's so little of it remaining. So you get to the equivalence point, the pH rises sharply, your phenolphthalein changes color, it's a beautiful day, you find your equivalence point, and if you keep adding NaOH, all of a sudden your pH just keeps rising and rising and rising and rising and rising. The reason it flattens out up here is because you, every time the pH goes up one unit, the concentration of OH had to go up by a factor of 10. It is a logarithmic scale. So you have to keep adding 10 times as much base to get the pH to rise a single unit. 
if you're a fan of math, you'll notice that this looks just like a log graph. And if you're a bigger fan of math, you'll notice that this looks like a log graph vertically flipped because pH, after all, is the negative log of H+. Plus. Uh -huh. Math works. Anyways, the point is, when you're titrating vinegar with NaOH, you end up with a little buffer region when you've added half as much NaOH as you have of vinegar. You'll eventually get to the equivalence point, which is where you've added just as much NaOH as you had of vinegar. And if you keep going, it's just going to start trailing off, flattening out up here because you need to add 10 times as much NaOH every single time just to make the pH go up one unit. If you're looking for the actual calculations, you know, find the pH at equivalence or find the volume of NaOH that would be required to titrate 25 milliliters of this. There are other videos for that. I put links to those videos in the description for this video. Until then, best of luck. Titrate some vinegar etc. Best of luck.